Arise! Do rise up. I am not proud to say it, but in the past 10 years, I have not completed a single Yoruba movie. And that is mostly because the subtitles are always beautiful. That I don't feel the need to witness such beauty. So seeing the trailer of Anikolapo, I got excited to finally watch a Yoruba movie after so many years. Yes, I hope you watched it in Yoruba too. The answer to this is no. <laughs> It starts off with our main guy, Osaru. Yes, guys. I'll be calling him that because he looks a quite bum. But the man you see here has just been resurrected from the dead. Then we instantly get a narration on how dead bodies were buried in the past. When someone dies in Yoruba land, they are not buried. Rather, the sacred forest is where the corpse is taken to. That is how the dead was buried in Yoruba land before the turn of time. And now we dig the ground. As it should, do you know how many Igbo movies have capitalized on the evil spirit concept? Eh? It says that the Akala bird has power of resurrection. Akala bird? Hmm, okay. In a verse of the Ifarekos divination called Idiosu. Idiosu. Hmm. <laughs> Hopefully, I remember all these names. The oracle is consulted for Saro, a friend of Elemele. Elemele. <laughs> I know you guys don't expect us to remember all this for sure. But where are the boobs? I was told there was a sex scene in this movie. <laughs> so bear in mind, this is the present, but the movie will take us back to the past to explain why he was killed. So in the city of Oyoile, <laughs> his names are going one by one. There's this festival that happens every time. That's when we see Saro for the first time. He comes here looking for a better future for his weaving business, not hair weaving. Men did not do this in the 1300s, so be careful. <laughs> but he won't be allowed into town without some harmless banter from the guards. I'm not here for the festival. Uh -uh. festival. And you look this dirty. Baba, don't steal my brand! Baba, don't steal my brand! After a while, he meets this lady named Awaron. <laughs> Names are going one by one. Prince the Butcher. And this meeting will literally change his life forever. As that was happening, we have the king side of the story. And this made me miss the good old days. You see, back then, men were allowed to marry many. I did not say a lot of wives many as much as they want look at this king he has multiple wives and they are all fighting each other for his attention and the family is in shambles you might think this is bad for the family and the kids but this builds character yes i said it guys talking to a babe that has family issues is way better than talking to a perfect babe from a perfect home I said it! But the gist of the palace is that the king married many wives and he just added to his collection a young wife named Arolake. Arolake? Arolake? <laughs> And the other wives are not happy about it. Boo hoo, get fine eh? The only downside to Arolake is that she might be barren. And that's the worst thing that can happen to a lady in this era. Wait a minute, what have you done to me, this lady? Baba, that one is not your concern now. Okay, back to Saru. All he has done so far is talk about weaving, eat food, and pound clay. And yes, I also forgot, sleep with his boss, just like Lucky Boys. You see, Arawo, Awaro, <laughs> see that they call this one. His sugar mommy, she's an awesome lady. I love her. She's like a proper babe. She got him a house, made him upgrade, and all he had to do was twist his waist up and down very fast. And his life was changed. Yes, of course. I could wait my ash off here. Oh, yes. Something happened here and here. She was poisoned but survived thanks to plot armor. Saru caught his sugar mommy sleeping with the director and I was confused. Why is no one tweeting about this? This is conflict of interest. This vexed him so much that he said his mind, but what he got next, man, <laughs> it was too much. Who was that man? How dare you open your dirty mouth? Me? Yes, of course I said dirty it. Dirty mouth? Not only that, it also stinks. I can go and kill myself and die. Do you know I can go and jump inside the well and drown to death? She felt so bad that she spoke to him wrongly and then begged him by giving him a job with the royal family. Start not a babe. Guys, 
start not a babe. We went to the palace, they showed them his designs. Um, they were like two colors, red and cream. Um, they were limited back then, so you need to understand all these things. <laughs> then he sees Arolake for the first time. And I would like to say this was love at first sight. And thanks to this being a movie, she tracked him down and had a way with him. Is this not uh, the R word? The guy is sick of Is this not? <laughs> to be honest, at this point, I thought she was a demon because the way this babe the maneuver around grass, I have never seen it. But hey, when you are honey, you are honey. Queen. Oh. Anybody can be a good boy. This lifestyle kept on happening to the point that she told him her past. That the current king met her when she was 15 and her dad agreed to marry her off by that age. After this, he also told her his story. It was boring. I skipped. <laughs> Your labor will not be in vain. Oyo has been kind to you. Go ahead, go ahead, papa. She said they should run and that was the plan until things fell apart. You get? Yeah, you guys are stuck in my channel now. What do you want? Do you want to leave? They caught Baba and killed him, not before pissing on him. Useless betrayer. And I started thinking to myself, man, what did he do to make them this that man? Oh guys, if you got to this point, I think it's time you share this video to one of your friends or to put it on your status. Subscribe and also turn on post notifications so you'll be notified whenever I post. That helps out the channel. Don't also forget to like this video because once you like it, other people like it, more people watch it and you come back and you see a million views. Won't you be happy that I made money? <laughs> Okay, back to the review. After his death and resurrection from an ugly bed, yes, I said it. I'm sorry. Before the bed could ask him anything, Arolake hit him on his head. And I said, yes. Honestly, look at it. If it was me, I would have hit it again. They ran away, and after some few weeks, literally, they meet this man that takes them to his hut. You travelers, hear this before you take your leave. Obedience is better than sacrifice. I saw what you did there. Then the next day, he took them to his village and bam, tragedy struck. Because the man that helped him, his child died. <laughs> wow. Feels like this is a movie. <laughs> So quick one, when she hit the bed, which I expected her to hit it more than once, she stole its power. Then she gave it to Saru and told him, be a man. No, no. Why, why should I collect it from you? Saru, eh? take and be a man. This was traditional in the olden days and now it has caused more men to have more depression and mental health issues because they are trying to live up to. I'm derailing guys. Let me go back to the review. He brought him back to life and that was it. Their life changed from this point on and it became better. Saru became a local hero because he was resurrecting people here and there. He even resurrected the people that did not even want to be resurrected. Who asked you for help? He got summoned by the king of the new village and this man hasn't opened his mouth in ages. And I respect that. If you know your mouth actually smells, don't open it. <laughs> they help Saro and his babe by giving him a house and many more things, I, I think. From here, things moved faster. Saro starts looking at other women and you may hate it, but don't blame him. Look at this lady's stance. Who is ever in this position for this long? And actually, this is a thing for her. She is either doing it on purpose or she has the greatest back problem I have ever seen in my life. He slept with her by using the vintage sand in my eyes trick. They've used this same trick in a lot of old Nollywood movies, so I like the fact that he brought it back. Aralake is devastated, but she can't complain. Then this happened. You also know that to build a strong household, we need to have children in our home. Uh I know Twitter did not like that. Two years go by and Saru really spread his seeds, marrying Bimpe and Omowo. I know their names. And he now has kids. And that's not all he has. His wives are now destroying Aralake. I didn't stop you from giving birth to your children. Is it because she's barren or was once a queen? But that didn't end because once you are in an abusive relationship, you are either getting all the benefits of it or you are single. I've now become an object of mockery to you, this highly ungrateful beast of a man. What? 
That's one of the benefits of being in an abusive relationship. <laughs> I might get cancelled after this video. I'm joking, guys. I'm joking. Jeez. Then the king's son died. Bear in mind, we are just finding out that the man has a son because he never opens his mouth. But we see a lot of flashbacks about his son and it felt like we were watching the wrong movie. Where has this guy been all this while? Why is he holding his arrow like that? Is he, what, who holds their arrow like that? Why is the arrow small? So you had the gods, my daughter. That's what I want. It's not much. I only want the princess as my wife. The king agreed to give his daughter out to Saru, and this meme was birthed. Arise! Do rise up! <laughs> ah. <Sauce! laughs> So Alakia removed the power and ran away and that's why it did not work. They killed him again and I think he was resurrected again. How do I feel? I feel mixed. On one end, I love new stories. But on the other end, I dislike predictable ending. And yes, all endings can be predictable. But meaningful, predictable ending. Hash, I know. I liked a lot of things. Even though I watched it in the English dub, I felt like I learned something about the Yoruba culture and that can never be questioned. The Akala bed, ugly, but I know my G if I see him outside. <laughs> what I don't like is Saru as a character. You can say Saru was a wicked man, but this flaw was never shown to us till the end. Let me explain. I believe in constant subtle change in terms of making a villain. Show the audience reasons why he is bad and not, oh, he's bad. Makes no sense. A kid under the bridge isn't bad because he doesn't know evil. But when you show us his friends and how he had to struggle to eat, it makes more sense why he became bad. Does that make sense? That's what Saru never had. Not saying he's a kid, <laughs> but you get. He started off as a humble man. On his own, she found him and spoiled him with gifts and houses because he had to sleep with her. When he wanted something bigger, she put him in his place. But this did not stop them from being friends. They were still friends, so you know this did not leave a negative impact in his life. Aralake found him and even though he liked her, she made the first move. Yes, you can say, but he had the right to deny her. But don't you expect morals from the one in the marriage first? <laughs> people helped him constantly, so when we see people say he has always been like this, he has never been. Or better still, he has never been portrayed. So it shocked me that he later on became promiscuous because he never had that in his body. <laughs> Only at the end. And that is bad storytelling for me. You don't just progress a story without the main subject. And also, come on guys, no repercussion. If we're going down the old school Nollywood route, I would expect us to at least have something for Aralake. Why would she go scot-free? Come on, maybe you would have just said the resurrected civilians had like after effect for changing fates because they died. It was their fate to die and they change the hand of time that would be a better ending i hope that makes sense to be honest i know i've been talking for a very long time i guess i was just too passionate about this tell me what you think in the comment section and um, if you hated my review tell me also it helps out <laughs> all right thank you bye <laughs> Check when it to for burn it to for my phone gangsta. Who know me look